In this video we will cover some theory regarding hreflang and html language tags. We will know what is their purpose, how they should be implemented and of course some examples. First, let's cover the theory of hreflang. The hreflang tells the search engine which language you are using on a specific page, so the search engine can serve that result to users in a specific locations or people who use this language. And here you can see an example of how hreflang can look in code. For example, if you create a different language version, Spanish for example, of your English language homepage, you would provide it to users by using a specific hreflang tag, so that users with relevant IPs are served that page in Spanish instead of the English version. This will influence your bounce rate by making sure that the right audience lands on the right version of your page. Keep in mind that while Google and Yandex currently use the hreflang attribute, Search engine Bing uses language meta tags. So what's up with HTML lang then? So the HTML lang attribute does not have much impact on SEO when it comes to Google. Google has explicitly said that they ignore the tag in favor of hreflang tags. Even though using the HTML language declarations won't make your site rank higher, it's still best practice to include it for usability and accessibility reasons. So, how they should be implemented, since there are a lot of ways on how to do it and there's even automated uh, plugins for WordPress and a lot of information on the web. We will show you how a proper hreflang tag and HTML language declarations should look like. So here you can see an example of a proper hreflang tag. Here you can see that each page correlates to the correct language. And here is an example of HTML language declaration. You can also see that we specified the language exactly the same as we did in hreflang. And now you're all caught up on the basic theory about hreflang and HTML language declarations. This issue is kinda similar to the one we talked about previously, but this gives contradictory instructions to search engine as of which version of the page to show based on user's language preferences. And here is an example of such an issue, as you can see two languages point to the same page, which might confuse the search engine and the users. 